Hey guys, welcome back to Tismania TV. In today's video I am doing a foundation test. I've been using the same foundation for many many years now, as I'm sure you guys know if you've seen my makeup tutorials. I use an airbrush foundation by Airbase, silicone based. I absolutely love it, but I can only get it in England, so it's a little bit tricky to get it to Sweden and sometimes I just want to try new products. And I'm sure you are familiar with the brand that I'm going to be testing in today's video because they are everywhere on social media. I keep getting these ads and the results look fantastic. So I was like, I have to try it. And I am skeptical because regular foundation usually doesn't work well for me. My skin is really dry. As you guys know, I have rosacea and I need pretty high coverage, but I need something that doesn't it look patchy or that doesn't highlight the fact that my skin is super dry and silicone based airbrush foundation has been a really good solution for that because yeah it, it checks all those boxes so I have tried over the years a couple of uh, regular foundations and neither of those have worked but I won't give up <laughs> so we are going to try a new one in today's video and I'm gonna sh I haven't even opened the box yet so we're, it's an unboxing and everything here is the box. So I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but Il Maquillage, something like that. If you've seen those uh, videos on Facebook, for instance, it's supposed to go on like seamlessly, blend really well with your skin. You're not supposed to feel it, but it's still supposed to be uh, high coverage. And they take pride in finding the perfect shape for every person. They have this sort of quiz that you take to select the right shade for you. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see if this works or not. So in the quiz, you get to answer a bunch of questions about what you want out of your foundation. You get to select kind of from different photos, like which kind of skin tone matches yours the best. So it's really up to you. If you check the wrong boxes, then you're probably gonna get the wrong shade. <laughs> so yeah, with that said, let's take a look inside this little box. We have a nice little quote. Untraditional, uncompromising, undeniably extra. <laughs> so makeup brand. Okay, so it comes with a couple of instructions, as you can tell. Six instructions. I'm gonna try to follow these and apply the foundation the way that they recommend, not the way I usually do it, which is just slapping it on with my fingers, really. So they recommend two pumps for the entire face, jaw and neckline. You blend it out with a brush or a sponge, not by hand. You wait five minutes for it to set before you check the shade, alright. Uh, you don't match it to your neck or your wrist, obviously. And then you can finish your face with concealer, blush and bronzer, yep. And then you can wear it for a full week to determine if it's perfect for you. Oh, there are two products in here. That's weird. Okay. Well, this is the foundation itself. <laughs> so, flawless base foundation. This is. I like the packaging, it's very nice. So, here it is. It looks very pale, but that's good because I am pale. This is the shade that I got, which is number 20. And then I just got to check what this is. It's a liner? Oh, ink liner. It must be some extra product they just sent me. Huh. Alright. I really enjoy the packaging. Obviously, black and red is a nice color match for me. My plan is to uh, wear this for a whole day and let you guys see what it looks like at the end of the day as well, not just when I put it on. I have washed my face, I have moisturized my face, and as always with my face, it still feels dry because that's just how my skin works. So I'm gonna use a primer and I'm using the Revolution Space Face, which is uh, one of their new ones that contains mushrooms. I guess we'll go with a uh, foundation brush because all the videos of super happy ladies achieving amazing results that I've seen, they have been using brushes. Okay, so it's a uh, pump action bottle and it says two pumps for your entire face shot and neckline so I'm gonna do one pump on that side and one pump on that side Oh, 
beautiful. My skin like drinks moisture, just soaks it up like a sponge because it's so dry. So I don't think two pumps is gonna be enough for me. But it looks decent. So let's do a little. I think it's cold to apply. Maybe that's the way regular foundation always feels, but yeah, it's kind of nice on the skin. The coverage is, as you can tell, not 100%. You still see some of my rosacea spots poking through. Some of that red skin that I have is poking through. But it was pretty well color matched. It feels like a regular liquid foundation. Like it's wearable, but coverage, no. I will need concealer or like more layers to cover my rosacea. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Let me see if I can. So you can see right here. And like on the nose and the, you can see this, the redness in the cheek. Let me just put a little bit more on and see if it's buildable. Okay, so yeah, it is buildable. That did cover up a little bit more. So yeah, I can see some more redness disappearing. So we'll see how it holds up during the whole day. Yeah, I kind of like it actually. So I'm gonna go about my work day now <laughs> and uh, at the end of the day I'm gonna come back without having touched up anything and we can see how it holds up. So let's do that. And we're back. It has now been 10 hours, nine and a half since I applied the makeup so I have been working all day long today I've been on walks I've had my glasses on all day and uh, haven't touched off any of my makeup so uh, let's take a look at what it looks like shall we I do have marks from my glasses that's something that you can't really escape from no matter what kind of foundation you use but I have to say that it feels like they were a little bit more noticeable than with my regular foundation the rest of the makeup kind of looks like shit so sorry about that I don't like the eyeliner at all as you can see it kind of came off right here. I feel like it's looking pretty patchy or blotchy or whatever the word is. You can see that it's been on for a couple of hours. It's also come off a bit. You can see the rosacea is starting to protrude on my cheek. Like, there's definitely still foundation on there obviously but it hasn't lasted perfectly. I'm not somebody who picks at their face a lot, so my skin hasn't been touched that much during the day, but yeah, so um, it's just fine, I guess. It's uh, not the best foundation ever, but it's also not bad. I think it might work really well for somebody who has more of a regular kind of a skin type. It is more difficult to get it to last when you have rosacea and super dry skin the way I do. So like not even my fancy pants uh, airbrush foundation holds up perfectly at the end of a day, but it still looks acceptable. It looks all right. Maybe I'll use this as like a travel foundation or at our trailer slash summer house, something like that. I don't know. I still enjoyed it. It felt good going on. It was smooth and lightweight, buildable. So it was able to give me pretty good coverage so yeah, um, I guess like three and a half out of five, maybe. And that is it for this video. Do you guys have your own experience from this foundation? Will you let me know in the comments what you think? And also, if you have any questions, post those there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, do no harm, but take no shits. I'll see you guys next time.